Hey guys, in this week's video, we're gonna check out our batteries that we just got from China. We're gonna do a capacity test, and I'll show you the company that I ordered them from and how you guys can order them too. I ordered this load tester off eBay for about four bucks. I cut this cable from a battery charger that we bought so that I could wire it up to the battery. This test has been running for literally almost two and a half days, and it's finally complete. It tested at 109 amp hours, which is a bit weird because it is a 100 amp hour battery. I think that, I mean, this little tester is made for 18650 cells, really. It will work for big batteries, but I think the accuracy is probably about 90% accurate, so it's probably about a 10% um, fluctuation there. I feel pretty confident that the battery actually is the capacity it should be. Um, it's just like I said, this is a $4 little gizmo. <laughs> so before I set up the connector to do the load test on the second battery, I just wanted to take a second to talk to you guys about these batteries. So this is a 100, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, 12 volts, um, made with 26650 cells. Not super into batteries, so I don't know much about the different cell types. But I just wanted to talk to you guys basically about why I decided, well, why we decided to use lithium instead of AGM. So initially we planned to go the AGM route, um, the flooded lead acid batteries, and that's because they're so much cheaper. I think lithium on average is about five times more expensive per amp hour you get. So it is a bigger investment, but there's a bunch of upsides. Um, for one, I can lift this battery up by myself. I can lift up both of our batteries and carry them at the same time with the same capacity in an acid, um, a flooded lead acid battery, it would be about 300 pounds. So that's one big point, weight. Second big point, size. Third big point, able to use 100% of the battery. Fourth big point, it'll last way longer, way, way, way longer than the flooded lead acid batteries. So these will probably last at least five to 10-ish years where probably by the time, by about five years, the lead acid batteries would need to be replaced. They would start losing their uh, their total capacity. So there was a lot of little reasons, and that's another reason we ordered from China. These batteries are so expensive. Um, so we decided, I found that the cheapest source was ordering straight from China. And another thing that I found is a lot of people actually say that these batteries that I ordered, so the company is EWT, and if I remember right, the EW stands for Actually, I don't remember. It's Everwin something. I think it's Everwin technology. If you look at this battery and then you go online and look at Renogy's uh, 100 amp hour iron phosphate battery, it literally looks exactly the same. It's got the same pattern. It's got the same little covers, the little black and red covers. It's got these same two little spots right here. It's the exact same shape. It's got the same little, I don't know what to call those. <laughs> But um, it's rumored, and it's made up with the same cells. And so it's rumored that Renogy actually orders these batteries from China and then just resells them for about a $600 markup. So in total, we saved about $700 buying straight from China. Uh, we did have to wait a little bit longer, obviously, but I think it was a good deal. Uh, the first battery tested fine. So here's our tester. So if you look, there's the in, positive and negative. So that's actually gonna to go to the battery. And then the R and R is the resistor or your load. If you guys use these included resistors, they get super, super hot. I actually, I don't have the blister anymore, but I had a blister here where I touched it. So all you do basically is you take a micro USB cable. This powers the tester. Get that in. Oh, come on. Now we just need to get this hooked up. Positive. Set the termination voltage and it keeps flipping. Sorry, so once you get it wired up, you actually have to set the termination voltage before hitting OK. My bad. So we're going to set ours at 10 because that's what the battery says. Hit OK and the test will start.
So guys, the second battery test has been running for about 24 hours. Um, it's obviously not gonna finish before Thursday, which is when I need to post the video. So we're gonna wrap the video up here, and I'm gonna give you the information on how you can order these batteries yourself. So, you can actually order these through Alibaba. If you're not familiar with Alibaba, it's kind of a, a website you can order directly from Chinese factories, I guess, um, online. So I started contacting them through Alibaba. I actually did the whole deal. Uh, they started emailing me from one of their company emails. So they actually, I got them to send me a PayPal invoice. I think they, were, they made me cover the PayPal fee, which is like 20 bucks, if I remember. Um, I'll overlay in the video what it was so that you guys know. I'll include the email and a link to their Alibaba store in the description so you guys can check it out. I think there's a 50 amp hour lithium battery as well and a couple, maybe a couple other configurations of the batteries that they offer. So guys, yeah, I mean, that's basically it for this video. Um, some of the cheapest lithium batteries you can get. There's a built-in battery monitoring system. So it's plug and play like flooded lead acid batteries. Great price, great value, lasts a lot longer. If you guys got any value out of this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. Drop a like. And if you really wanna keep up with us, hit that notification bell, guys, and we'll see you next week. See ya.